so here what we do is for this this is a this for in this uh, we are going to see the negative number uh, subtraction when you add two number and you get a negative number how we are going to handle so this is a smaller number and this is a bigger number as usual you find one's complement then add one with it you will get the two's complement now you have to add this number with the minute okay minute is this so add these two you will be getting a value so this is your value what you have uh, here you have received you do the subtraction you, you do the uh, addition and you will be getting this value now since there is no carry the carry is not produced you can understand this is a negative number so what you have to do is find the two's complement of the answer again there what we did we find the one's complement of the answer again isn't it so here since we are adopting the two's complement to do the binary subtraction here we have to again we have to find the two's complement of the result so you find the two's complement which is one zero one one zero 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 then again add one with it you will be getting the two's complement you find the equivalent you will be getting the answer okay correct answer okay are you able to follow yes okay. yes ma'am good now any doubt so far in binary subtraction and addition shall i proceed to the multiplication yes ma'am yes ma'am okay binary multiplication now the rules basic rules when you do 0 by 0 0 multiply by 0 you know you will get 0 anything multiply by 0 you will get 0 so the same rule here 1 into 1 you will get 1 and now carry or no borrow so now for example we will do the multiplication for this number 00101001 and then this you will be getting this answer you will see how you get this answer now here i have done this see here 001 Zero one zero zero one into this value. So now you what you'll do? Just like a decimal val decimal multiplication, you have to carry over. So zero into one zero, and then everything will be zero. So I put all this. How many digits? Two, four, six, eight. So six zeros, eight zeros. I have substituted here. Then with this one, when you multiply this one, you will get the same value, isn't it? So I put this one zero zero one zero one zero zero. And then again one more one, so you get it. all these things are zero. But if there is a one, then you have to substitute zero. Since all after this all are zeros, I just left it. Okay. So now you do the addition as usual, binary addition. Zero, then one, then here one, then here zero, then you have one. Here also you have one and one, and here one zero zero. Now this is the answer. Now you can substitute five zeros before, but substituting five zeros before is not going to give you any value. So just I'm leaving. Now we have to find the decimal equivalent. We have to check our answer always when you do a binary because the binary is not familiar with us, isn't it? So what you have to do is any binary addition subtraction in your exams. Okay, when a question is asked conversion, you have to. do the equivalent decimal number you have to find whether it is hexadecimal addition or subtraction whatever it is you have to find its decimal equivalent and verify your answer or else your answer will be you, you may not know whether your answer is correct or not and not only that while correction while when i am correcting the paper i would like to know whether you know everything so definitely a decimal substitution is necessary so you have to find the decimal equivalent do the calculation and you have to cross verify your answer that is mandatory okay so here the decimal equivalent of this is here 2 power 0 1 2 carry 3 2 power 3 4 carry 2 power 5 then here 2 power 0 carry 1 2 so we have substituted that you can find its equivalent now you have 41 into 6 when you do this you had to get the value 246 now for this you find its binary equivalent 0 carry 1 2 Then three carry the four, five, six, seven. Now you find its uh, equivalent value, and then when you add all these things, you get two forty six. So it is verified. Then we take another value, another example, zero 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 one one zero one zero, and then this is another number. It is nothing but twenty six into 
12. Okay. So now you substitute. Since it is 0, you substitute all zeros. Again, another 0, all zeros. Then for this, you substitute as such. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Because it is multiplied by 1. So you will be getting the same value. So like, and so on. You add this, you will get 0, 0. This is for this 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, it is 0. 1 carry, 1 plus 1, it is 0. And here you put 1 carry, this is so 1, 0, 0. Now you find its decimal equivalent, you get 312, which is nothing but equal to this decimal multiplication. Are you able to follow or you need uh, some more time, one minute more time to go through this problem? Shall I wait? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Proceed panava or wait panava? Proceed panava, ma'am. Okay. Now, some more examples. I have given more examples in the slides. Okay. You can do all those things. You can work out with your paper. You take a paper and work out all these things. Then only it will be clear. Okay. So here I have given some more examples. 1101. One, one. Yes. This is substituted. 1. And then here. 0. Zero. You are not zero. Put that. Uh, full zero substitute. Pander the bell. You are zero. Put that. Day. Part of the digit. Then I will do. I know. I am going to do substitute. Pander. Part of this. This is the only. Why? Step by step. Say it. Why? I am putting it. Okay. Now. If I am already in the one. Now. Putting. Now. I am going to put it. First. This. Part of this zero. Or. Then. Now. I am going to put it. Part of this value. This is. You will put it. Now. 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 Now, so, if I add in the moon digit, I can add it. Actually, this is one and then I can add it in the digit. But here, we have this as a zero. So, now you add this one, 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 zero, one, one, zero. Then, here the moon one over. So, it is one, one, triple one, 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 one. So, it is 11. So, one and here carry is one. So, here one plus, carry one in another, one plus zero, it is one and here one. Now, we will multiply this one and multiply this one. What is this? What is this? It is 3 digits. So, 3 digits is 4 digits. So, now you do 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 1 carry. So, this is your final sum. You can try this way also. Another example. So if you take this, uh, if you multiply it, the decimal place is also 2-bit. So we can the decimal place. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And when you multiply, we start from here. 1. Okay, it's like this. So if you add this one, this value is like this. One decimal place is like this. Now when you see that, what will you be getting? 1. Uh, You see here one 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 zero one triple one 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 zero one one zero this is one and this is one plus one zero one okay now so already we have done two now you take three for this three again you take all these values in your other end digit will place put in the point and let the place put in another third place this is a third digit so from third digit we are substituting this value and so on. So finally, you will be getting when you do this repeatedly, you do for the number of values present here. Okay. So now you will be getting this value. And then since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 digits in the decimal places. Okay. Here 3 places, here 3 places. So totally 6 places after the decimal point. So you, uh, you, you count from the right to left. Six places and then place your decimal point here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you place the decimal point. Okay, this will be your answer. So we have seen the multiplication. Next, we'll be seeing our binary division. If the time is over, 9.50, you have the next class. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am.